Well, the Purdue basketball team has arrived back in Indiana. Danielle Zakowski joins us once again live from the Purdue airport. Danielle, what was it like? Well, there was a cheer when the plane landed. We haven't seen the team itself yet. Let me get out of the way. You don't need to see me right now. You can see the Purdue Boilermaker train is here. Police and people on the train tell me that they believe that was the team that landed. And the, the plane's coming around. Let's bring the camera back around. Let's bring the camera back around. We see a plane coming down that could very well be the team from what we understand. People are starting to cheer as they are arriving here at the airport. Definitely a very exciting atmosphere. We haven't seen the players come off yet. I'm sure when we do see them, we will have a little bit more of an exciting moment. Let's give you a look as we're waiting for them to get off the plane at the train and the fans here. Let's pan over to the fans and see all the the people here that are ready to welcome home Purdue from that very impressive run at the national championship. We were speaking to fans all day today. They say that, of course, it was a disappointing loss, but they are more than happy to welcome back the team and celebrate them as they come back from their first run to the final four all the way up to the championship in over 40 years at this point we are looking to see they've put the steps up to the plane which i think means that any minute now the fans might be greeted by the purdue men's basketball team as they get off the plane we've been talking to fans here we even met a family that drove all the way up from carmel because they said they wanted to be a part of history it was just too short of a drive to not make the drive all the way up here to west lafayette and greet the team she had her three kids with her all between the ages of eight and five i believe and she said she wanted to make sure her kids remembered this historic moment for purdue basketball let's see if we we can't take a step in a little bit closer and see what we can see over here. See if we can see the team coming off. They're still getting those steps ready. I know all the fans here are definitely ready to greet the team and the students, as well as fans from all over central Indiana coming in. We're waiting. It looks like they have some safety personnel lining that staircase up right now just waiting for the team to get off safely. Now, the, the fans we talked to, they say they are looking forward to next season, that they know Matt Painter has created a good team. This is, oh, here, here, here's the door is open. Fans are cheering. They are ready to greet the Boilermakers as they get off the plane. Let's see. Let's take a minute and look. And here they come. And there is the team. Let's get a closer look here. My photographer Taj is doing all the heavy lifting with the camera as the team makes their way off the plane. historic moment as Edie steps off the plane. What an amazing run for the Boilermakers making it to the final four and even further for the first time in 40 years. Last couple players getting off the plane and fans are clapping, they're cheering, singing the fight song. What an exciting moment for West Lafayette. Oh, very cool, Danielle. Thank you so much. That's that that yep.
Uh, how many how many fans are out there, Danielle, would you estimate? Oh, wow. Hundreds, wow. hundreds of fans. We'll keep you guys looking at the at the team as they're getting off. Last couple of players. It looks like Matt Painter, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, is getting off the plane right now. I'm pretty far away, mm -hmm. but fans yeah, right. are cheering. They are excited to see him. They have pointed to him all day in, in talking about the success of this team, the slow build and his ability to keep Indiana talent local, which I think is key, being that Indiana and it really is the basketball state. That's just something our state is known for. And he has been able to keep so many local Indiana players here in Indiana instead of using the roster system, getting them to st come and stay, which is key in this modern basketball age that I think we see a lot of players transfer and he's, you know, getting people to come and sure. commit to Purdue, which what? has built a long term success. One quick few question for you before getting we, off the plane. What, yeah, one question for you before we let you go because we got to move on but um where are the players going are they gonna from here where do they go where, are they gonna have like some type of press conference or what's planned from what we hear from Purdue, it's been a long couple of days between the eclipse and the game since Purdue sure. handled a lot at IMS yesterday. So I think they're taking the night off. We haven't heard of any plans Makes for sense. a press conference. But if that changes, we will let you guys okay. know. Sounds good, Danielle. Thank you very much. We look forward to your full report coming up tonight at 10 and 11. Danielle Zolkowski live in the scene in West Lafayette as Purdue, uh, the team, arrives back home in Indiana. Wow, look at that crowd. That is good stuff. Congratulations to them. Good season, boys. Thank you very much, Danielle. Thank you.